All right, so right here, we have a Cadillac 472 engine. Um, we actually got this for the Pontiac Chieftain. Um, so the straight eight that's in it right now runs fantastically, surprisingly. Um, but our plan with the Pontiac is to um, eventually enter the great race with it. Um, all the slots are filled up for 2022. As far as I'm aware, so um, I got I signed up for the list. Hopefully, we'll get a spot for 2023. Um, we would like to run the straight eight through that race, um, kind of as like a last, like a last hurrah kind yeah, of thing for that engine. And then we're going to throw this big boy in there and soup it up, and hopefully, it's going to be pretty fast. Um, so, like I said, it's a 472 out of a Cadillac. I think it came out of a 69 DeVille. Um, not 100% certain. We, we bought it off uh, Facebook. Um, the guy sold it to us for like 450 bucks. He said it, it ran when he pulled it. He's gonna throw it to one of his project cars, uh, but decided to go an LS route instead. Uh, so he sold it to us for about 450 bucks. Um, we really haven't, we took a valve cover off to look at it. There's some plastic bits in there, but not really sure where that came from. So we're just gonna tear into it and just kind of see what the state of the engine is and see if maybe it was 450 bucks well spent. So so far it's uh seems like a pretty complete engine. You know, we got the AC pump, the alternator looks pretty good. This is one of those uh what was it quad jet? Oh I honestly don't know. Oh well, it's got a carb and a uh, power steering pump. So it's a, it's a relatively complete engine. So hopefully it was money well spent, but 400 bucks for a 472, I, I mean, I'm, it's not that bad, so. It won't be at the end of the world if it. Yeah, if, it's, if it doesn't work, it's not a huge loss, so. So yeah, well, um, just gonna take you along as we tear this thing apart, so. All right. Broken. What's that? Do those uh, spark plugs? Mm -hmm. Five eight. Yeah. No. Smaller. Smaller. Actually, yeah, five eight probably fits. I think we already looked at this one spark plug. Um, we looked at one of them. And this one doesn't have a wire to it. Uh -huh. It's a little dark. Yeah.
Also, when we got this engine, it came with a uh, turbo 400 transmission. Good night, sixteenths over there. Language. You don't have to bleep that. I think I'm kidding. No, I don't. Where's the... This uh, alternator bracket blocking this spark plug. So, under this valve cover, there's these plastic pieces. Um, it's like really brittle plastic. I'm not really sure where it's coming from. Quite yet, so um, I mean, at least it's not metal, so that's good. So, who knows? Ugh. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of plastic in here. I'd like to take one of the spins off. Yeah. We checked to make sure this turns, right? We did that, didn't we? Uh, I thought so. <laughs> I can't turn it on myself. For some reason, there's a block of wood right here. So far, all the, at least on this side, the spark plugs look all the same. What size are these? Um, this side. That one's bigger. to take that clamp off. Oil looks decent. It doesn't look milky at all. I don't see any flake in it, so. I don't smell any gas, so. That bolt's broken off. For the head? For the header. Right. This is... I 
can tell that valve cover is super black, but look at all those plastic pieces. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, I know the, uh, as far as I'm aware, the timing gear teeth are supposed to be plastic, but I don't know how that ends up under the valve. Or at least the valve covers. Well, we've got the intake manifold off, and it's pretty rusty in there. I have no idea what this is. Something, something melted in there. Oh, that almost looks like a bunch of plastic. I don't know. It's pretty crispy in here. Um, so, hopefully... It's not terrible. No, let's see. Maybe this. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more crisp. Oh, just. Is that see. right? Yeah, it's a little crispy in here. Uh, so far, no, nothing like super alarming. Well, let's. What is this? Is this plastic or is that plastic or is that metal? Can't tell. Yeah, it's plastic. Alright, so we have more plastic right here in the corner. It's a little milky. It's really milky. No. Oh yeah. Um, that's weird. Okay, there's some I don't know if you can see that. There's something in there. Screwdriver go. That might have a big screwdriver over here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Right, right there. I don't see it. Oh, here. What is that? Something. It looks like ash almost. Oh, that's Teflon. Yep. Some Teflon is flaked, flaked off in the um, coolant passages. But yeah. Um, I don't know why that's like that. But as you can see, um, it's a flat tappet. So, and that doesn't look too bad. There's no, like, super bad wear marks on it or anything, so. These are all straight, too, so. Yeah, nothing's bent. Um, all right, let's get this head off and see what the so sound might, well, might as well just take both heads off. Yeah, we're gonna that far, yeah.
two. Point. All right, so we got both heads off. And as you can see, the cylinders look pretty good. There's a lot of carbon and sit in there, obviously. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good on both sides. There's no obvious um, grooves or gouges in the cylinder walls, which is a good sign. We can't rotate it by hand because the engine kind of drooped on the engine stand and it's um, up against the crankshaft, so you can't rotate it. So um, we'll have to take these lifters out at some point. But right now, we're just gonna flip the engine over and take the oil pan off and see what the bottom side looks like. So. So we got the oil pan off. Um, it's looking pretty good. There's nothing too concerning. Um, I think that plastic came from the timing gear. Um, can't see from right there, but this timing chain is really sloppy right now. I'm guessing, as far as I understand, the teeth on that gear are plastic or nylon or whatever. And so I'm assuming it broke off and just dumped into the oil pan. So. Actually, let's see if we can get right in there. Uh, no, those aren't plastic. Huh. Okay, well, just scratch what I just said. I don't know where all that plastic's coming from. Unless... No. Looks like this sat for a while. Yeah, um, honestly, I have no idea where that plastic's coming from. Unless there's it's plastic right here. and... Hmm. There's a lot of it though. Yeah, there's a lot of it's plastic. Everywhere. So, who knows? So, well, other than the plastic, there's nothing it's too concerning about this engine. Seems like it's a pretty solid block. Yeah, the cylinder walls are great. The pistons look great. The camshaft looks great. The crankshaft looks good. So, um, obviously there's a lot of grime on here. So unless there's a crack in this block somewhere that we're not seeing, I think this is gonna be a money well spent. Yeah. So, be but good project. time will tell. All right, so that was um, a mostly disassembled of the um, of our 1969 Cadillac 472. Um, it's gonna be a project throughout the winter. Um, we just wanted to see if it was worth investing some money in to it. And at this point, I think it is. Um, I think we, um, parts of these are really expensive. So I think we might keep the heads. Um, I was doing a little bit of reading, reading and um, most people suggest just swapping out the intake manifold and putting some headers on it. Um, at the very least, we'll do that. Um, we'll probably do a few more upgrades here and there. Um, again, we don't know where that plastic is coming from. It's a complete mystery. So we'll have to do a little bit more research uh, to see where that's possibly coming from. But at this point, I don't think it's causing any harm um, and honestly, I don't think this engine has been run a while. Um, you can see where the um, oil was sitting at the bottom of the cylinders. So, yeah, I think uh, um, this is going to be a 
pretty good engine uh, for 450 <coughs> bucks. We got a what appears to be a really solid um, beginning to a 472, and we also got a automatic uh, turbo 400 transmission. Um, I don't know if we're gonna throw that transmission into the Pontiac. I kind of want to keep it manual, but we'll see. Well, I've, I've done it. Those are pretty good transmissions. Yeah, I mean they're um, pretty bulletproof. Um, they can handle a lot. So, and I mean, especially whenever we throw at it, it'll handle yeah. <laughs> whenever we do just fine. So, um, I mean, I think from the factory, these engines can go about 372 horsepower. I don't know what the torque numbers are, but if we could see at least 500 horse from this. Yeah, well, we can get way more than three something out of it. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be happy if we could um, get I haven't five. done any research for performance packages. So if you guys have any suggestions on, you know, camshafts or whatever, anything, uh, let us know. And where to get them. So. All right. All right. See you guys next time.